All right, guys, I'm going to start this video. Um, uh, the first thing you got to do is um, take, the, take the cover off the speakers, which is, which is pretty easy. Uh, the thing just slide on, slides on like this. Actually, it goes like this. There's two clips in the back that just kind of slide into the, to the dash, and then there's one clip on each side. One here, there's two there, and one in this right back corner. And basically, all you do is, I used um, these little dash kit plier tools, and you just basically wedge it into. I started off right in the center and slide it over to the left, and got those two clips on that side and just pried up, and <clears throat> they pop right up. The one on this back corner is actually kind of hard, so you have to. Don't be scared to break it. Um, it's not gonna break. Just pull up as hard as you can, and it'll actually pop up. Um, then you have the speaker. Here's the speaker. You have two screws on the speaker. Um, Phillips head that are fairly easy to get out. I found this tool online, uh, Amazon.com. It's called a. Um, I just typed in uh, L-shaped screwdriver. I forget what the name of it is, but. It was fairly cheap, three or four dollars. I ordered it. Um, it actually came in with the speakers. So that's what I'm using. I'm actually I've already installed that speaker on that side, and it fit just perfect. Um, let me take the speaker out, and I'll show you what you guys have to do. All right, guys. So I've got the speaker taken out. Um, what you have to do is you have to take the speaker wire harness that's connected to. Um, I've actually I actually had already pushed that button, but. If you look on the wire harness from this side, on the back side, there's a little button right there that you have to just take and push in, um, and that just disconnects from the speaker itself. Uh, it took me a little while to figure that out. I don't know why, but it was really easy. But anyways, this is a speaker. This is a factory speaker. Um, and what I'm going to do, what I did on the other side, was you notice how there's plenty of speaker wire still. Um, to use to run to the to the new uh, speaker and what you want to do is you want to use that SAM adapter so what I did on other speaker was I just snapped the speaker wire here and here and then uh, wired it directly to the new speakers and then just plugged in the uh, adapter to the speaker adapter um, at first I had read online that somehow for some reason this wouldn't work because I guess someone someone thought I guess was connected to uh, a crossover and so this would only pick up the highs but actually the crossover the uh, the uh, not crossover but the uh, little bass blocker I guess you call it um, is actually on the speaker itself and so once you unplug once you if you take it and connect it directly to the speaker you'll have you know a full range coming through the speaker itself the folks that I ordered the DBI 351s actually come with the base blocker um, that I'm not going to install just because the factory head unit doesn't have doesn't have that really much power that much power coming through it in order for you to, for me now if I go to uh, later I think I might hook this up to an amplifier then I might use that base blocker but so uh, let me take this uh, adapter off the speaker itself and I'll show you what it looks like on the new speaker. Alright guys, I'm going to show you exactly what it is so you guys don't have any questions as far as what I'm doing. Here's the uh, aftermarket. This is the Polk Audio speaker that I'm installing. These are the factory speaker. Actually, I'm that one. The one that just come out of the car. So, like I said, all I'm going to do is take and snip the wire. Snip the wire right here. If you guys can see that, I snipped it there. Snipped it on this side. And these are actually fairly. And what you want to do is you actually you want to make sure you look and see which was a positive, which was a negative. If you guys notice, the red part, the red wire was hooked up to the positive, and the black was hooked up to the negative. So that was actually kind of easy. Um, and the easiest way I found. On the other speaker, to take this adapter off, uh, it just kind of slides into that metal bracket. Um, I say it slides on; you actually have to wiggle it off. So um, once you get it wiggled off, um, then you just take the red and black wire and hook them up directly to the 
uh, positive and negative on the on the uh, aftermarket speaker. So let me do that quick and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Alright guys, so here we go. There is the factory bracket installed on the, uh, the speaker terminals right there. I know it's not the best connection right now, but uh, it'll it'll do. I have it actually wrapped around that post two or three times on each side, so it should work. And then all you have to do is take it and uh, plug it into the uh, is the factory uh, connection here. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. It's a little bit harder than it looks. Let me get this plugged up. I have it plugged up. Uh, this speaker actually fits well with a little wiggling. It fits perfect inside that uh, inside that bracket. And what you guys have to do is, um, I noticed on the other side, is I had to take this little bitty knot, nah, this little bitty plastic piece right here. And in order for it to sit flush on it, I had to just take it, and it's actually kind of easy to just take it and, and just break it off. Oh, God, so I said it was easy, but yeah, what you have to do is you'll have to break that off on both sides. There's one on the other side and one on this side. If you'll take those and break them off. Oh, I'm grabbing these needle nose pliers. That's what I use on the other side. If I can find them. So what you want to do is you want to take the needle nose pliers and just push on this little plastic piece here. And then it should just break off. One there. And on that side. thing too let me show you inside that bracket I hope you guys can see but if you notice there's more room on the front of the bracket as far as the hole for the uh, magnet than there is in the back and if you notice the speaker has these mountain brackets on it I mean the post so what you want to do is you install the speaker this way so that those, so that those posts are on the side with more room 